Hello from San Antonio. This is Siren Tayro. I won't be able to say that much longer. I don't know what the hell kind of intro I'll have when I leave San Antonio in the next couple of months. Anyway, San Antonio, Siren Tayro. Yeah, this is a pick a card reading. Very much tongue in cheek, heavy emphasis, as always, on entertainment purposes. I edited the outro. So be sure and check that out if you're so inclined. The outro, the little song I made that pretty much sums it all up. Anyway, your next soulmate or your soulmate. I don't know what kind of title I'll give it, but, uh, you know, I've had a few soulmate experiences. I don't believe we just have one soulmate in a lifetime. And soulmates are not always romantic and sexual, some are platonic, but for the purpose of this video, this will be a sexual romantic soulmate. This reading is timeless, and for this reading, there are four different options. Option one. Option one. Option two. Option three. And quattro. Option four. As always, timestamps will be provided. Take a deep breath and make your selection. You chose the amethyst. Option one. Here is your reading. Before I get into the reading, I'm going to pimp my newest self-published book. It's available at lulu.com, but I've marked it as explicit content. So you can go to Lulu, put in my name, Misty Rainwater Lights, but you're going to have to click something like, I'm okay with explicit content because that's just the world we live in. Today will be a blank day. Some of my exes reside in Texas. I'd rather hug a monkey. This is not thematic. It's just fuck all. Wash that ass. Shut up about the matrix already. This planet doesn't deserve me. Lick me. I'm melting. B is for boobs, so that makes it explicit because we have B for boobs and wash that ass. Ooh, this is really explicit content here. I colored this when I was doing the video for Patreon last night, so. Fish out of water, noodles. Yeah, I'm going to make a new coloring book tonight and include my recipes in there, and I'm going to give that as Christmas gifts this year. So, okay, what is your soulmate like, or who is your soulmate, or your next soulmate? We're describing someone. The world, the fixed modality, Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, Leo, King of Swords, Four of Pentacles. Knight of Disc, Five of Cups,
Ace of Wands. Haven't used this deck in a million years. It's not the easiest deck to shuffle. Two of Wands, Three of Swords, Knight of Pentacles again. And then I made this deck a million years ago. I don't think I have it available at my MakePlainCards.com storefront any longer, but just for fun, something extra. Moon conjunct Uranus, I wanted you at first glance. Moon trine Venus, you're my favorite flavor. Moon opposite Neptune, it's pure magic between us. Okay, this person is very matter of fact. They don't believe in love at first sight. They don't believe in fairy tales. Um, they don't wear their heart on their sleeve. If there's not a strong sexual attraction, they're not even going to initiate a relationship. This person is very much immersed in the 3D, very sexual, very sensual. I'm getting strong Taurus vibes. We have the Knight of Pentacles twice. We have the world. We have four of Pentacles. And I just see four of Pentacles and I associate that with Taurus. Anyway, they could have Sun and Taurus, Aquarius rising, Moon and Scorpio. I feel like they have a lot of fixed energy. Maybe their astral combo is all fixed. Um, but they're very hardworking. They're very no nonsense, very matter of fact. Not the most imaginative or creative person. Not an intellectual. They probably don't read much. Um, I can see them going to vocational school, maybe. You know, getting their license, becoming an electrician, a welder, a plumber. Um, they take pride in their environment. They have a clean home, a clean vehicle. I see a man driving a truck. But of course, it could be man, woman, um, but whoever this person is, they have this very matter-of-fact, 3D adept energy. So they're not Neptunian. I don't see any Pisces here. They're not dreamer, dreamer. They're not dreamy. They're not a dreamer. They're not a romantic. They're not off in the 5D. They're not chanting with mala beads. They're not really spiritual. They could be an atheist, possibly an agnostic. Very entrenched in the 3D is what I'm getting for this person. They probably don't believe in soulmates. Um, so I feel like this person has been hurt a lot, not just in love, but I feel like they came from a pretty fucked up environment. The first seven years of their life were probably marked by some kind of trauma, abandonment, which it's not that rare, but I don't see them coming from the most stable, loving home. And so they're very self-reliant. They're very independent. Um, time was reading, but as I record this, it is Thanksgiving. I can see this person spending Thanksgiving alone. They don't get into the hype of the holidays. They probably don't put up a Christmas tree. Um, their energy is very bare bones. It's very minimal. They could be a minimalist. They could live in a tiny house off the grid. Um, they could live in a small apartment, a trailer. They're not extravagant. They're not materialistic. They have very simple taste. They get the same kind of groceries over and over again. Like they get the chili from the can or um, there's a certain kind of sandwich they take in their lunch. They always pack the same kind of lunch. Their flavor is vanilla. 
okay? This is not Rocky Road. This is not Cookies and Cream. This person's vanilla. Many would regard this person as boring. Um, maybe if you chose Pile 1, you're thinking, uh, no, hard pass. I don't want someone that boring. I don't know. Some people are turned on by this kind of energy. Everyone wants something different. It's all subjective, but... That's what I'm getting for this person. Maybe you're more of a free spirit, a wild child, and this person could be like your anchor. I don't know, but that's what I see for pile one. I hope that helps, entertains, educates, elucidates. I am always available for private, in-depth personal readings. All the information is in the description box below. Not above, not sideways, but below. Thanks so much for watching. Peace out. And if you chose, oops, if you chose to the Rose Quartz, this is your reading. First, I got to pimp my latest self-published book. It's available at lulu.com, but you have to find it. I mean, you can put in my name. But because I marked this as explicit content, it doesn't show up. You have to really look for it. Today will be a day. It's not thematic. It's just fuck all. Some of my exes reside in Texas. I'd rather hug a monkey. Because I said wash that ass and B is for boobs, that's explicit content. D is for drunk. Yeah, that's really explicit content there. C is for cussing. All right, you get the gist. Yep, I colored that while making a video for Patreon last night. So I'm not sure what I'm going to title this pick a card, but this is your person, your soulmate, your next soulmate, next relationship. I'm gonna have soulmate in the title for sure. Soulmate sells. People want to know about the soulmate. Tends to be a popular thing. I don't believe we just have one soulmate experience in a lifetime. I've had a few soulmate experiences. Soulmates are not always romantic or sexual. I think I said that in the intro, but just a recap. This is a romantic sexual soulmate not a platonic soulmate. Okay. Three state spotters, three swords, El Colgado, the hanged man. I don't do reversals. I have a few videos of this channel explaining how I read tarot. I go more in depth at Patreon. A card of resistance, defensiveness, seven of wands, said that they lost those. Your soulmate. Seven of Wands again. Six of Swords. Two of Pentacles. Five of Wands, Cinco de Bastos. Three of Swords, Tres de Espadas, Five of Swords, Cinco de Espadas. Damn, this person is quite the cantankerous motherfucker. Not the most pleasant personality. Uh, this person's in no danger of winning Miss Congeniality or Mr. Congeniality. Not the friendliest person on the block. I made this deck 
approximately a million years ago. I think I had it at makeplaincards.com, but I'm pretty sure I took it down. I wasn't pleased with how it turned out. Anyway, just for fun, a little extra. Doesn't play well with others. <laughs> very argumentative, very opinionated. Moon and Pisces, spiritual exploration, mental telepathy, tantric sex. Tantric or tantric? Tantric sounds better. Um, see, I didn't know what the hell I was doing. That font doesn't stand out. Black on dark blue, that doesn't work. It's been trial and error with me using Canva. Um, moon and Capricorn, goat stars, goals class. Moon opposite Uranus. We definitely aren't boring. Yeah, if you're wanting a roller coaster from hell, then here's your person. Extreme highs, extreme lows, block, unblock. I hate you. Just kidding. Uh, lots of makeup sex, lots of jealousy. Why were you talking to that person? Who is that person leaving the hard-eyed emojis all over your Instagram? What's up with that? Yeah, I'm thinking of the Capricorn X. This is kind of what we had uh, on and off again from December 2012 to November 2016. Extreme highs, extreme lows. Um, so I was at the park and ride. I shouldn't go into this. But that's a pet peeve of mine when someone says something and they say, okay, I'm not going to go there. No, go there, damn it. Okay, I was at the park and ride in San Antonio. I guess I had just... Got there from UTSA. I took the bus to UTSA to campus from the area of San Antonio we lived in. So I was at the park and ride, and he saw me going into the building. I was going to use the bathroom, and that turned into a fight. He thought that I was having sex with someone inside the building at the fucking park and ride. That would have been terrible sex. It was less than 10 minutes, but whatever. Okay, so anyway, um, this person could be crazy town, very irrationally jealous, um, suspicious, always looking for a fight, always looking for an argument. If this person drinks or does drugs, like, I don't want to talk about drugs, but if they do drugs or they drink, I can see them being worse when they're on drugs or when they're drinking. Um, because I was in a horrible mood earlier and the ex offered me a Negro Modelo, a beer, and I said, I should not be drinking. If I have a beer, I'm going to turn into Jackson Pollock. And I didn't, I drank less than one beer with the steak. But anyway, um, I could see them being a very loud drunk, for example. They drink and they just go balls to the wall, crazy town, and they're looking for a fight. So similar to pile one, they didn't come from the most stable home environment. The first seven years of their life might have really been fucked up. A parent abandoned them, they were abused, I don't know. Uh, something happened and they have this very imbalanced personality. Um, they don't really know how to love. They don't know how to be in a harmonious relationship. They don't know how to trust. They have trust issues. They have more issues than National Fucking Geographic is what I'm getting from these cards. They don't know how to access the energy of the hanged man, how to just chill out, breathe in, breathe out. That is exotic to them. They probably are not on a spiritual path. They may have been brought up in a really oppressive religion like Catholicism. And they think there are definite rights and wrongs. They see the world in black and white terms, no shades of gray, right, wrong. Um, they're not that sophisticated or nuanced in their thinking. Easily triggered. I can see them going on rants on Facebook or Reddit or whatever the fuck. They just go off on these tangents. It's them against the world. So that's your soulmate. Have fun. <laughs>
entertainment purposes, I hope people are laughing. I hope people aren't taking this too seriously. You know, I say it all the time. I am not some guru on high. Uh, I don't believe you can carve anything in stone. Tarot is an interpretive art, and I do emphasize entertainment purposes very heavily at this channel. Listen to the outro if you're curious. That sums it all up. But uh, no, I'm not fatalistic or superstitious when it comes to tarot. Um, they probably have a lot of squares and oppositions in their natal chart. So one example of many, <clears throat> this person could have sun in Gemini, moon in Pisces, Capricorn rising, um, they could have Mars square Pluto in their natal chart. That's one of the worst aspects you can have. I have that. My Capricorn X has that. If you have Mars square Pluto in your chart, you're going to have to get really comfortable and adept at shadow work. There's no way around it. You're going to struggle with anger and all kinds of low vibration stuff. That's just a very problematic aspect to have. Um, I don't want to get too deep with this. I don't want to get too negative, but I could see this person being prone to violence or they may have had to struggle with that and, and overcome the tendency to resort to violence in their relationships. There's really no way to sugarcoat these cards. This is a very difficult person. That's what I see for pile two. I hope that helps, entertains, educates, elucidates. Thanks so much for watching. I am always available for private and depth personal readings. All the information is included in each and every description box. Peace out. And if you chose three, your soulmate. I gotta pimp this real quick. Color Outside the Lines, Ebulence Press. It's at lulu.com. Put in my name. You won't find it because it's marked explicit. I mean, there will be a thing that pops up or something to that effect. Are you sure you want to look at this? It's explicit because I put wash that ass. B is for boobs, D is for drunk, C is for cussing. That's really explicit there. But yeah. That's the world we live in. People need warnings and labels. La 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 la. Colored that during a Patreon video last night. Okay. Not sure what I'm going to title this, but this is your soulmate. Your soulmate. Page of Wands, so the Bastos, Seven of Swords, the, the Espadas, Eight of Swords, Ocho de Espadas. Oh, I feel gross. I want to just fast tomorrow. Oh, two coconut pies. I made two coconut pies, hence the fingerless gloves, because I burned my hand taking the first pie out of the oven. Let's see if it shows up on camera. My burn scar. I'm a badass. I burned my hand on a coconut pie. Um... So two coconut pies, steak, mushrooms, and butter sauce, garlic sauce, butter, garlic sauce. Most of a Negra Modelo and a baked potato. 
cheese and sour cream and chives and jalapenos. It's just how I roll. So yeah, I want to fast my ass off tomorrow. I don't like the feeling, the feeling of being full. Okay. Your soulmate. Oh, Knight of Bitch Ass Swords, Caballo de Espadas. Six of Swords, Six of Wands, Seis de Bastos. Seven of Pentacles, Siete de Oros. I want to sing a song, but no song is coming to mind. Check out the outro if you want. I'm proud of it. I made a New Moon and Sagittarius playlist. I make a playlist for pretty much every new moon, every full moon. My playlist, you'll find everything from Tupac to Billie Holiday to Queen to Blondie. Um, Ty Seagull. Uh, R.E.M. Nirvana. Led Zeppelin. Um, Wu-Tang Clan. Frank Zappa, Frank Sinatra. Captain Beefheart. Trout Mask Replica is probably in my top 10 favorite albums. Trout Mask Replica. Purple Rain. Abbey Road. Um, Daydream Nation. Princess of Cups, Wheel of Fortune, Six of Wands, and then I don't think I have this available at Make Playing Cards. Yeah, this is not at MakePlayingCards.com. I'm not crazy about how it turned out. I made this years ago when I was just starting to learn how to use Canva and how to make playing cards. But uh, this is just for fun, something a little bit extra. See, that doesn't look good. Moon, Trine, Mercury, you read me like a book. Moon and Libra, wine, art, playlist. More of my exes have had Moon and Libra than any other sign. Moon and Libra does not work with me because Libra does not aspect Virgo. I don't fuck with the minor things like semi-sextile. I think life is too short for mediocre sinistry. So yeah, the Moon and Libra doesn't work and I've got Pluto in Libra. My Pluto does not want to be touched. It doesn't want to be fucked with. Um, Moon opposite Pluto, you're such a magnet. I can't even really see the apostrophe there. That's crap. Okay. Um, so these are possibilities in your sinistry. Your soulmate could have Moon and Libra. Their Moon could try in your Mercury. Their Moon could be opposite your Pluto. That's a really magnetic aspect. Um... Thank God, this is nothing like Pile 2. Pile 2 was pretty intense. Um, it's going to get off to a half-assed start. You're going to think, what does this person even want with me? Do they want a book buddy? What the hell is a book buddy? A book buddy. Uh, you get together on Friday nights or Saturday nights, whatever. You do a Zoom meeting and you discuss your favorite books. You're wondering, do they want a book buddy? Do they want someone they can troll Reddit with? Do they want... What the fuck does this person want? So you're left wondering. In the beginning, 
they kind of come at you sideways. They don't, they don't pursue you in a really strong, passionate way when you first start talking. They're kind of vague. They're kind of scattered. And you might wonder, are they talking to other people? Yeah, they probably are, at least in the beginning. Um, they have kind of a strange approach. And so this is not going to be a direct, satisfying, linear progression where you meet on Tinder, Instagram, Bumble, plenty of fish, plenty of bees, whatever the hell, the latest app. You don't meet and then you get together and you have amazing sex and then you get engaged after six months and you get married in a couple of years and you have two kids and two puppies and two houses and matching BMWs. No, it's not like that. Um, so what is it like? Well, there's a strong sexual attraction, but they're being strategic. Maybe they've been rejected a lot in the past and they want to make sure they hold your attention. So they try to play it off like they're um, inaccessible. So I see some game playing in the beginning. They're probably going to be a few years younger than you and you probably have a lot more life experience and sexual experience than this person. And this person is neurotic. They're in their head a lot. They overthink, they overanalyze, a lot of fear-based thinking. They're scared of rejection basically is what it all boils down to. Possible astro combo for this person and they seem really socially awkward. They could have Sun in Aquarius, Sagittarius rising, Moon in Taurus. And you're going to wonder, what is wrong with this person? What kind of diagnosis do they have? These days, every damn person has some diagnosis, but you're going to wonder what exactly is up with them. They're going to elude your comprehension, okay? Um, but once you get together, <laughs> if you choose to get it all, I cannot stress entertainment purposes enough. My God, you have to laugh. If you choose to get involved with this person, this possible soulmate, it'll get good eventually. You know, you'll create meals together. You'll create playlists together. You'll infuse over wine together, maybe go on wine tours, go to Napa, whatever. And you'll have fun, but it's not going to be love at first sight. I'll just leave it like that. Okay. Uh, my second husband, my son's father, that was not love at first sight. We met at work, T-Mobile, Albuquerque, New Mexico, 2004. Uh, I heard him laughing, and I turned to the guy next to me, and I said, I would love to have whatever the hell that guy's on. He was laughing like Woody the Woodpecker, you know. And then he smiled at me once. And I thought, what the hell is he smiling at? I was very much a misanthrope. I was very much like a goth chick. You know, I wore black. I wasn't really a goth chick, but I'm, I guess I looked like one. I wore black and I didn't smile. Um, and I was an introvert. I am an introvert. And he was a very sunny, congenial Leo. An extroverted Leo. So I caught out a possible astral combo. I do feel like this person is an introvert, and I already said I feel like this person's socially awkward. You may have to be the one who steers this. Um, it'll take a while for this to get off the ground, is what I'm seeing. Distance could be a factor as well. So yeah, that's what I see for pile three. I hope that helps, entertains, educates, elucidates. Thanks so much for watching. Peace out. And if you chose Quattro, Four. I'm looking at the iPhone. I'm looking at the red rectangle that has the time on it. Okay, we're still rolling. I don't have any faith whatsoever in this iPhone. 
I miss the Android. Actually, I haven't had an Android since 2019. I started this channel with the Galaxy Samsung that I got at Walmart. When I started this channel, I was just holding the phone with one hand and then I was doing the cards. The cards were pre-shuffled and then someone said, you might want to get a gooseneck. I said, what the hell is a gooseneck? And then I went to Amazon and got this nifty gooseneck holder. Okay, your soulmate. Devil, El Diablo. Oh, Capricorn energy is strong. My favorite. Eight of Pentacles, Ocho de Oros. El Cogado, the Hanged Man. One of my soulmates inspired my novel Bullshit Rodeo. Another soulmate, the Capricorn soulmate, he inspired Walking the Earth, which is no longer available at Amazon. I'm going to have to do a revision because they inexplicably just took down my KDP accounts. I had several. Just took them down. No rhyme, no reason. So I've got to revise Walking the Earth. I've got to revise uh, Bunny Man. I'm very pleased with my revision of Fucker Butt Happy Time. That has been up for about a year now. I don't know when I did the final revision. I did a few revisions, but I'm very pleased with the final revision of Fucker Butt Happy Time. No reviews at Amazon, so please, if you're looking for a good book, Get Fucker Butt Happy Time and leave a review, a five-star review. Don't leave a one-star review. I would be just over the rainbow ecstatic. It's a good book. Lots of tarot references, lots of astrology references, lots of sex, lots of love. Okay. We have Five of Bitch Ass Swords, Cinco de Espadas, Queen of Bitch Ass Swords, Reina de Espadas, Knight of Bitch Ass Swords, Caballo de Espadas. Oh, wow. See, that's cool. I like that. The knight going toward the queen. That's as it should be. And then this is no longer available at makeplaincards.com. It doesn't look that good, but just for fun. Just some extra info. Moon opposite Mars. See, you can't even read the font. That's ridiculous. My desire for you is out of control. Moon conjunct Venus. You're my best friend. Moon and Gemini. Road trips. Friendship. Novelty. Cool. So this person could be a few years younger than you. They could have sun and moon in Gemini, Pisces rising. That's one possibility of many. Don't trip on the astrology. Just enjoy it. Just go with it. It's just fun. Uh, you could have sun in Aquarius, Mercury in Capricorn, Moon in Gemini, Capricorn Rising. These are just possibilities. You're going to move in together after just a few times of hitting it. Um, could be after the first time you get together, you fuck. It's glorious. Let's not waste any time. Let's move in together. Okay. So you move in together and you continue to have really good sex. You share ice cream, you create meals together, you binge watch The Walking Dead, Game of Thrones, whatever, together. Inexplicably, lately, because I'm not a sitcom person, I'm not a TV person at all. But I don't know, my, my brain's going through a weird phase. Uh, lately, I've been watching these clips of Full House on YouTube. They just show up in my feed, so I'm like, okay, yeah, let's see what... Kimmy is up to, or uh, Uncle Jesse. 
Oh, Uncle Jesse and his girlfriend, Becky, wife, whatever. They want to have sex. There's a bed that pulls out of the wall, but the little blonde girl that has a twin walks in, Michelle. She wants to play with Uncle Jesse. Hmm. So anyway, I've been watching that shit lately. Uh, but you're going to watch TV together. You're going to spend a lot of time alone together at home, cuddling. You're very cozy. Uh, you have sex. It's good. Then you cuddle. And this is romantic. Even though we don't have any cups, I feel like the cups are implied. Yeah, the only water we have is the hanged man, which is Pisces. Um, <clears throat> but I feel like there is a lot of love between the two of you. And eventually I can see the two of you getting married. That's just really good. That's really strong how the knight is going toward the queen and she's under the eight of pentacles and that strong Capricorn energy. So you have things in common. You have shared values, shared interests. You're on the same damn page. And as I often say with the Eight of Pentacles, the mundane becomes magical because you're so fucking into each other and you're just aligned. You're in sync. I don't think I've ever experienced moon conjunct Venus with a man. My Venus is an Aquarius. I've never been with someone who has moon in Aquarius that I'm aware of. Um, I mean, my relationships. I've never been in a relationship with someone that has moon in Aquarius conjunct my Venus, but, um, yeah, I don't know. Moon opposite Mars, that would be moon in Cancer for me because I have Mars and Capricorn. Never experienced that. Moon and Gemini, a soulmate of mine, a friend, a lover very briefly. Anyway, a soulmate, a man I regard as a soulmate. He had Sun and Leo, Taurus rising, Moon and Mars and Gemini. His Pluto was right the fuck on my Moon and Virgo. Um, the muse who inspired my novel, Bullshit Rodeo, it's available at Amazon. So yeah, I see immediate chemistry and it just works. It flows. It's organic. There's no resistance. This person is not... They're not trying to play games with you. They're not blowing you off. They're not giving excuses. They're not ghosting. None of that nonsense. They know that they want you. It's mutual. And you move in together immediately is what I'm getting for pile four. If you want it to be true, make it true. We create our lives. I'm not fatalistic or superstitious when it comes to tarot, but that's what I see for pile four. And that does conclude this pick a card reading. Thank you all so much for watching, liking, commenting, subscribing, sharing. Sending you all massive love and light from San Antonio. Entertainment purposes unjust a basic.